G'day everyone, <coughs> welcome along. Let's get stuck straight into it. So today we're finding the midpoint of a straight line. Um, it's a fairly simple skill. It uses base skills that we've known for a while now. So and that is, as it suggests up here, finding the average of a couple of numbers. Uh, we can hopefully find the average of lots of numbers, um, but this is finding the average of just two. So we'll jump straight into it. Um, so find the average of any set of values is the sum of those numbers divided by how many values you have. So for instance, if we have uh, number one and seven, we're gonna go one plus seven, and you'll all go that equals eight. And then we've got eight, so we wanna divide that by two because we have two numbers on there. So we have one and seven, we have two values, so we divide it by two. Eight divided by two is four. Okay, on to the next one, five plus 11, and we can do our notation even a little bit more succinctly. Five plus 11 equals 16, and 16 divided by two equals eight. And last of all, negative two plus four, add the two again, because each one of these has two values, so one there, one there, etc., etc. And negative two plus four, so we start negative two, add four, and we get to two. Two divided by two equals one. Okay. So that is a very quick rundown of finding the average of that. Now, how this applies to a straight line and where we uh, put it into place is really straightforward, I think, anyway. So we have two points, and we say we're at, we need to find the average of the x points, so the average of the points going left to right, so the middle point of those, you can see that basically down there and down there. And as well as that, the average of the y points. So that'll sit about there. So if we look at that, we're going to take the average of the x points, which is 3 and 5, and the average of the y points, which is 1 and 4. Okay. So with that in mind, we're going to use this equation or well, that setup right there. So if we know what both the x points are, we can plug them in. So our x points are 3 and 5. I'm going to make that x1 and x2. So 3 plus 5 over 2. Let's put it in our big brackets. And 4 plus 10 over 2. Okay. Now let's work that out. 3 plus 5 is 8. Two still, we haven't got rid of the 2. And 4 plus 10 is 14 over 2. Right. So we're halfway there. And then we need to... Now we need to halve both, both of those values. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 14 divided by 2 is 7. So that's our new point. 4, 7. So if we go along here, we go 4 is there, 7 is there. So that should up straight up there to there. And that should. Okay, so those two there is gives us a point 4, 7, which is the midpoint of that line. Okay. Again, up here, we can do the same thing. And it's asking us, well, let's draw the line first. So we've got P, point P is 3, 1. 3, 1, and then we've got point Q, which is 6, negative 5. Okay, do that, I'll pop a line in there. Sometimes the lines on this are really ugly. Uh, actually, uh. It's gonna be unkind to me. Daddy, get up, you can hear kids in the background, which is helpful. Joys of going through country table. So we do need to have this now. So lots of the time we've said we will not 
Okay, let's uh, hopefully all the tags and properties. There we go, much better. Yeah, lots of the time we say that um, with our straight lines between two points, or when we're using two points to make a straight line, we go all the way through and keep going. With this, because we're trying to find the midpoint of two between two lines, we're not going to go straight through and take any of this one on there. Okay. Now, the midpoint of that line, it may be more difficult to line it up easily. So, we're going to do our x, x1 plus x2 over 2, and y1 plus y2 over 2. Okay, so I get my two x points. It doesn't really matter what order they're in um, because addition is commutative, so it goes backwards and forwards. So I've got 3 plus 6 over 2, and I've got 1 plus negative 5. Brackets everywhere. Divided by two, so my two x points, my two y points, both divided by two. I'm going to do one hit now. Three plus six is nine. Divided by two is four point five, and one plus negative five is negative four. Divided by three. Okay, and now point. So if we go negative four and a half, which is there, and negative two. So that is a midpoint right there at. 4.5 and negative 4. Okay, so that's how to find the midpoint of a straight line. So using this equation up here, so average out your two x points, so 3 and 5 for that one, average out your two y points, 4 and 10, and that will give your new midpoint of your straight line. Hopefully that's easy enough. Remember, we just find the average, add your x's together and uh, divide them by 2, add your y points together, divide them by 2. All right. Label them if you have to. So up here, I might like to go x1 and y1. I wish I could make my uh, commas really big in this, otherwise, it looks like I'm adding one. And two, y2, y2, right there. Um, if it helps you to. Okay, so hopefully, this is all good. Um, have a good day, gang. Like, subscribe, watch it, and if you need more help, let us know in the comments below. Cheers.